Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 13th, 2023. Well, welcome back, everyone. Hope everyone had a great weekend. We've got a busy week ahead of us of economic reports. Um, our earnings calendar does dwindle a little bit this week, a little bit of relief in that. But boy, the economic calendar ramps up with some very serious reports. We'll cover that in just a moment. First off, we have um, Asian markets ended up closing um, the day mixed with um, Hong Kong doing the best up a 1.3%. And at the same time, um, the, the one that struggled the most was um, Australia, but only down 0.4%. So just a mix of data in there. Um, we end up with this morning, we've got European markets are green across the board this morning. Maybe just a little bit on the cautious side, but green across the board this morning looking pretty good. And at the same time, we have U.S. futures, at least at the moment, kind of flat across the board, just a little bit on the negative side due to Moody's downgrading the U.S. Um, situation to um, a negative. And um, the interesting thing is it's well off of the overnight lows. We were down last night um, well over 100 points in the Dow futures and now only down 12. So um, quite a change there overnight. U.S. Um, oil is this morning moving just ever so slightly higher. We've got oil futures up, Brent is up just a little tiny bit this morning. Bond prices, interestingly enough, with the downgrade from Moody's are, well, just ever so slightly up, um, kind of flat. The two-year bonds are at 5.06. The 10 years creeped up to 4.63. 30 year is holding in there right at four and three quarter. And uh, six month bonds are at 547. So just a little bit on the flat side there on the bonds. Let's take a look at what is going on for today. Um, and see if we can look at these charts and figure out how we might want to approach the market for today in the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can shake off that bias here a little bit and let's see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today well kind of an interesting circumstance here where we were just oh my goodness we were very very bearish on uh, Thursday and on Friday complete reversal in the market and what was remarkable is really on nothing um, there really wasn't anything to inspire us to move higher all that much. The market just wanted to go up on Friday. And boy, did it go up in a big way, pressing through this resistance in the chart. So if those bulls can continue to find that inspiration here today, well, I'm gonna push this right up into here. And I think the next area in the chart would be up here through that area. This is a break of the downtrend. This is a break of the major resistance level in the chart. And if they can continue to push this morning, well, let's see if they can push right up here into this next level of price resistance. However, with the Moody's downgrade, if the bears were to get inspired today, well, then maybe a retest of this support could be, um, or this resistance breakout could be um, a, an, an, an interesting pullback. If um, that were to fail, then I'm going to say that possibility we might come on down test this little area right in here in the chart. Uh, failing through there, of course, would be a major problem for the market. But at the moment, I see more enthusiasm to the upside, whether it's justified or not, I don't know. We're going to find out a lot of whether or not that's going to be justified in a lot of the data that we've got coming this week. Let's take a look at our um, moving averages here. Um, this is a beautiful hold above the 50-day moving average. You notice that the 50-day moving average, just the momentum of it, is just crossing down through the 200-day. So again, a pullback here in the market. 
um, might actually pull us back um, to as far as that 50 day moving average and then we find the 50 and the 200 day moving average as support it's also possible that we have already tested that now and we're just going to go up from here you just don't know now one thing i would point out is that this upside trend is really steep and um, we're probably due uh, at any point in time for either a longer consolidation or more of a pullback. So just kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at our SPY now, SPY also extremely bullish on friday we pushed through this price resistance here in the chart and then we went on up and we tested that downtrend area in the chart so watch that carefully we're pushing into a, the next area price resistance would be up here to be paying attention to if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration but if the bears were to find inspiration from the data then don't be too surprised if we pull back beyond and maybe come back and test this little area of support in the chart. And once again, if that area were to fail, maybe we come on back down and we test this area. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind with the Moody's thing that that changes things maybe just a little bit. The market wants to ignore it, but we'll see if we'll be able to throughout the day. And then just keeping in mind that there's a gap below that. So a fall below there would probably bring in some serious pain or pressure. And once again, if I were to come over here and if I were to draw this as an upside trend and that's our higher low, that is a very steep move. And what that typically means is soon, anytime we can run into more of a consolidating move here in the market, resting period or a pullback. So just be prepared for all of those potential circumstances and plan for it. If we take a look, um, um, we're holding above our 50 day moving average. That's a very bullish sign hanging in there nicely. Our eight exponentials crossed over the 50. So any kind of a major pullback in the market, I think could really find some support off of that area. And perhaps we don't. Perhaps we continue to extend this market. It is a little bit on the data side if we continue to stretch too far. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Now our QQQ was the big driver here on Friday, ripping through this resistance area in the chart. We've already sliced through the downtrend, ripping through that um, area of the chart with uh, big tech doing tremendous amount of pushing here to the upside. We just can't buy enough tech at the moment um, and, and it really doesn't matter what the price is and it doesn't certainly doesn't seem to matter what the PE ratios on those companies are but we just want to buy them big time so the next resistance area in the chart would be right up in here to test to see if we can pop through with the Moody's downgrade perhaps there's that possibility we could pull back and we saw Hong Kong um, in here really really strong um, on the tech side of things um, last night. So it's possible we could push on through. If the bears do come in, however, well, notice we really don't have any support here until we come down and retest this area of price support in the chart. A failure through there might take us back down into here, maybe to test that uptrend break. And keeping in mind, once again, if we were to look um, here at our technicals of the chart and well, come on, there we go. Um, our technicals of the chart, if we look right in here, you can see that this is a very, very steep rally um, and unlikely to be sustained for a tremendous period of time. Probably need a little bit of a rest, a little bit of pullback at any point in time. So be prepared for that possibility. And then keep in mind, that even a severe pullback here in the market would come into that 50-day moving average support area right in here. Test that doesn't mean anything in this market turns bearish. So kind of keep that in mind. And then if we take a look at our Russell, well, um, again, IWM largely unimpressed on Friday, put in a nice little hammer pattern, but unimpressed uh, just simply because there's no big techs in, in, in IWM and, I, and big tech is where everything has been pushing and driving. So IWM continuing to languish here, lagging behind in the chart. If we can continue that bullishness here this morning, well, maybe a push on up and 
test that Thursday, big old ugly black candle, you'll notice that there's some price resistance across there. So that might be the possibility. If we can get through there, then pushing on up into this major resistance area of the chart looks like a likely possibility. If the bears continue to push here though on um, the Russell, um, you can see we've got a little bit of a support area right in here if we were to pull back. Maybe we can catch a little bit in here if we break through that. And if that were to fail, then uh, there is a real chance that IWM could retest the lows here in the chart. Certainly not much love here in IWM. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX dropped hard here um, on uh, Friday pushing back down to the recent lows notice we gap down there and then bounce off of that area so we're down here in the 14 handle of the VIX we're not showing any fear at all despite the fact that Jerome Powell says hey we may not be done um, raising rates and the fact that Moody's have downgraded us and we have um, a potential of a government shutdown um, on the way um, by this weekend um, no fear, just keep buying big techs. Um, we'll see if that continues to hold throughout the week. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 really responded higher here on Friday, bouncing back up, but not so much as to say that, hey, we've overdone it. So what this says here in T2122, if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration, we definitely have plenty of upside opportunity um, if we can kind of shake off the Moody's downgrade and just keep on pushing to the upside. We've got some um, space to do that. If the bears were to find inspiration, one of the things we want to pay attention to is, well, we have just a little, little bit more than half as much to the downside room to move. And remember, T2122 doesn't tell us which direction we can go. It just tells us when we've reached those overbought, oversold areas in the market. And so far, we're kind of in the middle of the range, so about anything is possible here today. If we take a look at our T2108, internals of the market here with the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average, you can see a nice hook over to the upside on Friday. We want to make note that we are still below price resistance in the chart, so if we can continue to push to the upside, we may run into a little bit of price resistance resistance up here. If the Moody's downgrade uh, brings in those bears, well, we've got some support here in the chart as well. So push down into here probably wouldn't be all that hurtful um, overall. So stuck in a range here at the moment, we'll want to watch that closely. About 43% of the stocks above their 40-day moving average. Nice improvement over the last week. Holy cow, big change. And then if we look at T2107, well, T2107 um, had a nice little bounce back up here, but unfortunately, you know, with such a big group of stocks like the, the Russell 2000, the biggest index, um, showing a little bit of uncertainty here in the market. Just we don't have the big techs to continue to drive it. Notice that we, if we continue to push up, we could run into a little bit of price resistance here, a little bit of re price resistance right in here if the bulls continue to push to the upside. Breaking out of that, we'd be in really good shape. If we notice this downtrend here, we came down in here, we're testing that little support area. Got a nice little bounce, so you gotta give that up to the bulls. If the bears were to continue to push today, based on uh, that news um, from Moody's, then maybe a push back down into some of these areas here to test some of this price support wouldn't be out of the question. About 33.5% of the stocks holding above their 200-day moving average. Then if we take a look at our T2101, well, we did see volume decline on Friday. And um, volume was just a little bit on the light side, which was weird after such a big rally. But um, we got this little teeny tiny hook in here on our T2101 at the end of the day. T2101 is suggesting that possibility that the bulls may be able to push through to the upside with that little bit of a hook. We can continue that bullish momentum and see that 
that push on through to the upside. That's what we're going to need to see from those bulls if they push up. Now, unfortunately, the same thing could be the case if the bears were to push. If the bears were really to come in and utilizing that data on Moody's and the worry about Friday, um, we could see the breadth of the bears pick up here on that push to the upside. So watch that carefully. And remember, as we continue to extend this um, breadth in here to the upside, we're getting big price whips, big point moves in that are, poten uh, are potentially there. So just keep in mind, bullish or bearish, if we start moving, we could see some big point moves in either direction as that breadth is staying pretty strong. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. And our economic calendar, well, uh, we're going to start this week with pretty light calendar, only three month and a six month bond auction. We've got a treasury statement coming out here that will most likely ignore. But um, then as we move into Tuesday, we're, we're not going to get very far today. And we're going to start thinking about, um, I wonder what happens with that CPI report on Tuesday. And we could see light choppy price action ensue here, unless those bulls and bears really grab a hold of something like that Moody's report and uh, make a push here in the market. We've got Mester speaking, we've got Goolsby speaking, just some bond announcements in here that nfib small business optimism report probably not going to be much of a market mover but keep an eye on that then if we take a look throughout the week we're busy we're going to come into um, a ppi number and retail sales empire state manufacturing uh, business inventories of petroleum status we get those mortgage applications in here we're going to take a look at jobless claims um, uh, Philly Fed, we've got Mester speaking, we've got import exports, industrial production, we got Williams speaking, housing market index, a um, natural gas report, and then into Friday, housing starts and permits, and a couple more Fed speakers in there to pay attention to. Of course, we're sprinkled in there with um, um, a few bond auctions that we'll want to be paying attention to as well. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar, getting a little bit of a break on earnings, not as big a number um, as earning of earnings reports coming um, this week, but we've got several notables to be paying attention to. First off, um, ACM will be reporting today. This is a nice little bullish pattern heading into that earnings report. Um, might want to keep an eye on that carefully pushing up here, as you can see little upside move coming in there. We're running into some price resistance, but overall looking pretty darn good. If we take a look at um, FTRE, that'll be reporting today. This has also been moving in a nice little upside trend. Um, if it can hold that little higher low in here, look for that opportunity. This might be a real important report to decide whether we're gonna push on through or if we're gonna break back down. Um, let's see, G-E-N-I, G-E-N-I. There's another higher low showing up on that one heading into the report. H-R-O-W will be reporting today. MNDY is on the list. Got skin on the list. I don't know if that's going to be very market moving. Um, um, obviously, pretty, pretty um, low cost stock, but one to pay attention to. Um, SLF will be reporting nice little higher low possible inverted head and shoulders pattern there. We got TSEM also moving in a nice little upside trend, pulling back a little bit here. Looks like that report may have come in, but it's not terrible if that's way, the way we're gonna act in here, holding on to some support, keep an eye on that. And last but not least, Tyson will be reporting today, TSN also trying to put in a little higher low, the same that we've been seeing in an awful lot of consumer defensive stocks. Looks like a little pop and drop going on here in the pre-market after its report. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up 
But before we do that, if you guys could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. And those of you that share this video out on your social media feed thank you very very much um, also just a big shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link that's just below the of the title of the video you guys are truly truly awesome i i just you humble me every day thank you so much let's take a look at some of these charts and remember these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas make sure that you're following your trading rules and make sure you're following your guidelines and your risk tolerances for every trade first off let's take a look um, we've got ccl in here pretty interesting looking chart ccl trying to hold up in a higher low in in this chart trying to push on through to the upside so i would keep an eye on this i did place a price alert on this chart um, upside target may be up here in this next resistance area of the chart. We might get a stretch up into there. So keep an eye on CCL. Looking pretty good here overall. Take a look at Wayfair. Now Wayfair pulled back a lot stronger than I was hoping it would um, here the last few days. Pulling back into this downtrend area as support. If it can find a little bit of buying in here, we might bounce off of that. If not, then uh, this one comes off the list. We could drop down through there. But some of those little retailers have been doing quite well here in the market. Not that Wayfair is a little retailer, but retail has been coming up pretty nicely. Um, if you take a look at Lowe's, boy, my goodness, what a pop and uh, move here in Lowe's this morning. Gapping down early this morning and bouncing back up here. Might want to keep a close eye on that. I had a price alert right in here on this chart. If we come in with a uh, a candle like this and continue to stretch on higher that's kind of what you'd call a belt hold pattern in the pre-market um, so watch that carefully if Lowe's can kind of push on through Home Depot is also in that same kind of pattern trying, trying to show that bullishness breaking the downtrend coming into some support here in the chart just really looking like we could find that inspiration here at any time and push on higher here in the the big orange um, let's take a look at chewy chewy is another one of those stocks that have been really oversold for some time and now starting to show that higher low starting to push up in here i would look for an opportunity in here for that upside move and i gotta tell you guys there's is a possibility if we're going to be bullish into the fourth quarter there may be some opportunities for longer term holds to the upside and some of these stocks turning out of these bottoms starting to come up might be just the thing that you could pick up in here and hold for that upside move take a look at um Sorry, um, Etsy. Um, take a look at Etsy. Has been down here, dragging along the bottom in this reg, uh, rectangular little formation here in the chart. Now this is one of those charts that really doesn't look like it's ready to get going yet. And I think we run that possibility in here that this could actually turn on short, continue to move to the downside. Not looking very good there overall. And when we talk about stocks that, boy, there's a lot of uncertainty in here, um, in that oil sector here, I think we have more potential downside that could be coming in some of these oil sector stocks as well. Notice ExxonMobil breaking that um, support level in the chart. Any rally back into this downtrend, I think sets up that opportunity that ExxonMobil can move on lower. And if we look at, um, um, Occidental, this is Warren Buffett, Buffett's favorite. He owns a ton of this stock. And you'll notice kind of those lower highs coming in, breaking support levels. Now, of course, this has been very volatile and anything that occurs in the Middle East can have a major impact on this, either bullish or bearishly. So watch that carefully here. I think there's a possibility that could move on lower here in the market as well. 
watch that closely if you're looking for a little bit of bearish action here in the market last but not least let's talk about mickey d's mickey d's is holding in here really nice little upside move going on nice little tr move to the upside we've got a substantial area of resistance in the chart out here as you can see we'll want to watch carefully for that because this nice little consolidating move very well could find that inspiration here and just pop right on through to the upside so keep an eye on that now because i'm running out of time here i'm going to cut this video short i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thanks so much for being here this morning i truly appreciate it all the kind support all the kind notes that you leave behind on these videos i really really appreciate it thank you very much everyone take care be safe have an awesome day we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. And as always, I wish you all the very, very best.